Hello, hello, good morning. All right, let's see. Good morning. It is chest day, shoulders, triceps. All right, so Kelly, good morning. Bienvenida. I got to put my socks on, guys. You know, because as, as usual, as typical, I'm always running late. So what I'm putting on my socks, let's talk about, you know, what are the rules at that gymming at home with fitness adaptations? What are the rules? So rule number one is you have to blast and play your own music. You have to um, find music that stimulates you, that gets you hyped, that gets you pumped for this workout. And... Uh, Today's workout is going to be a little different. Uh, today's workout is going to be, um, we're going to go for a pump. Uh, we call it we call it the pump. And the idea behind the pump is that you do a lot of repetitions. So you do a high amount of repetitions. And what it does is that it brings a lot of blood to the muscle. So the muscle swells up uh, from, from the pump. And good morning, Olguita. And when you're doing, when you're doing that, it, it really gets you, it gets you like, it just, it, it makes you almost like look bigger, uh, the pump. But, and, uh, but in, 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 in the big picture of things, it's high repetitions. It's, a mu it's muscular endurance. It's high repetitions. And... It's type two, type one fibers that you're stimulating the most. When it comes to muscle growth, the biggest growth is going to come from the type twos. Those are the bigger muscles. But if you want to maximize muscle growth, you also have to stimulate the type one fibers, which is your endurance muscles. And usually we, we have to do uh, 12 repetitions or more. That's why we're going to be doing 15 repetitions for a couple of exercises today. The rest, we're going to be doing 10. But we're going to do a pump. We're gonna get our 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 chest pumped. Um, we're also gonna get the shoulders pumped a little bit, but we're gonna use a different mechanism. We're gonna do the drop down. So um, it's gonna be a fun exercise today. It's gonna to be a um, you know simple, but with a new a new routine. And um, talking about that, I forgot my Fitbit, and I forgot my other. I forgot to put them on. So give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. Let me go get those um, those tools because I need them. Right. All right, so I am back. Let's move this back into into position. All right, so. Yeah, I almost forgot. I almost forgot to put these on. So uh, back to uh, what I was saying. So today's workout is going to be, it's, we're going to burn a lot of calories because we're going to get the heart rate up, but we're also going to be working on the pump. So today you should be pumped. We should be getting a nice, nice, nice pump. We might do double rounds. Uh, I think these rounds are going to be easy. They're going to be fast. So I don't, I don't expect us to be, uh, we, I don't expect each round to be that long, but um, so those, that's, so that's, 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 that's what it is. So the first rule is, is play your own music. Make sure that it's loud. Make sure it's loud, but that you can still hear me. So, uh, play good music, whatever that music is, reggaeton, salsa, merengue, trance music, you know, um, party music, just get something hype, rap. I don't really mind. Whatever you want to play. That's why that's why it's so awesome to work out from home because you can play whatever music is beneficial and, and works for you. Number two, uh, follow the instructions. Watch the exercises that I teach you and only do the exercises that work for you. And if I, if I have to, if you have to modify an exercise, modify it. I'll show you how to modify, but it's up to you to come to this class consistently 
so you have more ideas. Just trust me. Even if you you're a beginner, show up every day, and you're gonna get better at working out. You're gonna be able to see like, oh man, I remember I couldn't do this workout, so now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do an, another workout. I'm gonna do another exercise, a similar exercise. So that's that's another thing. And choose weights that work for you. Make sure the weights that you choose are not too heavy for you, so that you don't get injured. Focus on technique. Technique is number one. If you have to do less rip, less reps because you're using technique, do less reps. And follow your program. Make sure that you're doing the program correctly. So, good morning, Marisol. Good morning, Simena. Y Kelly. Eh, hoy, es, hoy es upper body, bastante upper body, así que ojalá que nos te metas con nosotros hoy, que te hemos extrañado. Nos gusta, pero... Lo, nos asusta, pero nos gusta. Así que Olguita ha estado ahí teniendo tu memoria. So, all right, guys. So we have seven people. Remember to hit that like button. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. And let's get on with the warm-up. The warm-up, this what we're going to do right now, I call it the pre-warm-up. Focus on technique. Focus on squeezing your shoulder blades. Focus on contracting your abs. Focus on breathing correctly. Breathe in, let it out, have good breathing patterns. That what we're, that's what we're going to do right now. Then we're going to do the first round of the exercises. That's called the warm-up round. Up to you if you want to use a warm-up round, right? If you feel like the pre-warm-up was more than enough, then the, 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 the pre-warm-up was more than enough. But if you need to go lighter and just do more reps and just get that sweat going, which is what I do on the first round, then do that. And then the second round, when we come back to the second round, you execute your program, whether it's heavy lifting, strength, muscle building, whatever that program is. Okay. So let's get going. Make sure you're hydrating. Have, have your hydration in place. And let's get started with the warm up. First exercise for the warm up is the circles, the arm circles. Today is upper body. So we have to put most of our focus on the upper body for the warm up. Uh, if you have your Fitbit, turn it on. So my Fitbit is on workout. And I'm ready to go. And I'm going to turn on the, the strain meter because it's, we I always like to see how much strain we cause because that dictate, dictates how much recovery you need. So strain activity. And we're going in three, two, one. Here we go. All right. So let's start with the arm circles. Open wide. Open up those arms. Straighten out your arms. Straighten them out. Do a thumbs up. Retract your shoulder blades. So your shoulder blades, your arms, your shoulders are going to get smaller. They're going to retract. You're going to maintain that tight retraction. And you're going to do forward circles. Chest up. Perfect technique. Squeeze those shoulder blades so they're, they're going down and in. My traps should not be up. They should not be activated. My traps should be going down. They should be getting stretched, if anything. So don't, don't shrug. Do not shrug. Shoulders down. Shoulder blades being squeezed. And just keep going with the arm circles until your arms are burning. Some of you are already burning, especially if it's your first time. Your arms are probably already about to die. We're, we're not even using weights. So big circles. And then we are going to go over and under. So one arm goes over the top. One arm grabs the lat. We, we swing and we hug. Swing and hug. Swing and hug. Right here. Alternating. One arm goes over the top. One arm goes over the bottom, and you keep switching which arm goes over, which arm comes under. Just like this. A lot of oxygen. Just breathe. Okay. Now, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to open up our arms wide. Thumbs up, straight arm. Retract those shoulder blades. So you're going to bring your shoulder blades, and you're going to squeeze them. So the middle of your back. It's gonna go, it's gonna go in. So retract. You see how my you see how this disappears. My lats, when I go like this, when I open, they're there. You can see my lats. 
And then when I retract my shoulder blades, they disappear because my, my shoulder blades squeeze in. And now I'm gonna go backwards. Backward circles, stay with you, keep your chest up. As you're doing the circles, chest up. Keep breathing a lot of oxygen, a lot of oxygen. Keep on breathing, keep on working. Big circles. Oh man, my shoulders are getting tired. They're starting to burn. And shake it off, shake it off. Let's go, arms, let's go over the top. Hug. So, hug and swing. So, swing back and then hug. Hug and swing. Woo, keep going. And shake it off. All right, that was beautiful. Next, let's start with this. Go with the march. Let's start warming up the legs a little bit before we get into other exercises. Let's start with that alternating. Remember, one arm into the ear, the other arm back. Same, same leg goes up, my arm goes back. And then I switch. I'm trying to get that knee higher than my hips. If I can't get it higher than my hips, means you have weak hip flexors. You have to practice this exercise a lot more. When you bring that knee up, do not shrug to try to bring your chest or try, or try to like, like you try to get that knee high by, by, by squeezing your body, by, by, by uh, doing a, a crush. No, stay up top, stay high, one arm, and then you keep switching and you get that leg high without crunching. Stay upright, keep your core tight, and just move those arms. Opposite arm, opposite leg. We got one, one, two, two. We're gonna go for 10. Ready? And let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Shake it off. Perfect. Next, we are gonna do the butt kicks. Same, same thing, but now we're kicking back. The arm that's going back is grabbing the, is touching the same side of the heel. It's, I gotta, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, bless me. Thank you for everybody who said bless you. Thank you. All right, so. Um, grab the heel and just keep switching. So whichever arm goes up and then my arm goes to the ears, the exact same thing. We're going to do one, one, two, two. We are going to go for 10 repetitions. So one arm to the ear, one arm back. Let's go. So one, one, two, two. Make sure you give me a big squeeze on that hamstring. You're going to feel a pull on the front of your leg. The more you try to squeeze. Bring your heel to your butt if you can, and just tight, hard, okay? Well, two more, one more, and shake it off. Let's do basic, this very simple side to sides, stretching out the inner thighs. So when you do an inner thigh stretch, dynamically, all you do is that one of the legs is gonna go, my hip stays back a little bit, but I'm just gonna bring my leg forward and then right before it crosses my toe, I just bring my hip and I stretch. So I feel the stretch right now. I'm pushing this this way, I'm pushing it down, and I'm putting my weight on the opposite leg. You're gonna feel a stretch and just twist your hip. So you kind of like lean, lean away from the front leg. So I lean this, it's almost like I'm doing a crunch, a side crunch, and I'm gonna feel that stretch. And then I'm gonna keep doing it side to side. We're gonna go one, one, two, two. We are gonna do 10. Very easy, very basic. Don't try to get low. Just get a nice stretch. Enough where you feel the stretch and just keep doing that. Ready? And let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six. Six, seven, seven, 
eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Shake it off. Fantastic. All right. Now let's get into the shoulder stretch. We are going to get back into this wide position right here. We're going to put our palms, we're going to put them down like we're trying to rest or like we're paying attention to something, but we're standing up. So we put our, our, our hands on our thighs and we're just resting in this position. Then what we're going to do is we're going to turn our hands out a little bit and we're going to put the weight towards one side. So we're going to, we're going to shift our weight towards one of the hands. Whichever hand that you shift your weight to, you're going to bend the elbow, you're going to push that shoulder down, you're going to look away, you're going to stretch this right here. And then we're going to go the other way. And we're going to do that. We're going to keep switching the weight, keep switching the elbows, and getting stretching out the chest. One, one, two, two. We're going to do 10. Ready? And let's go. One, one, two, nice and slow. Two, three, three. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, and shake it off. Woo! All right. Let's get some jumping jacks. Jumping jacks, we start from penguin position, right here, feet together. When we split the feet, we, our hands come up, and then we split back in, All right? If you can't jump, sidestep. If you can't lift your hands all the way up, just go to shoulder height. If you can't do that, go forward. So these are your options, you can do it full, here or here or full halfway or forward if you can't jump you can't move find what works for you those of you who can do it the full do the full everything we have 15 jumping jacks sides shoulders down ready and let's go one two three four six Eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, and shake it off. Woo, all right. Let's wrap it up. Let's one, wrap up the warm up with the Frankensteins. We are gonna swim big circles. We're swimming. And then every time we, our one arm comes forward, the opposite leg kicks up. Don't bend down to try to reach for the toe because what does it? You, you um, hyperflex your, your back and you can get hurt. So what I want you to do is just stay, stay upright and try to get that leg up. If you can't, then don't touch. But if you can touch, you can get that leg up, get that leg up, stretching out your hamstrings and warming up those shoulders. We have one, one, two, two, we have 10. Ready? And let's go. One, one, big swings, two, two, open up those shoulders, open up the arm, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo, okay. That's enough for the warm up. That was the pre warm up. Focusing on technique, focusing on just getting those shoulders loose. Get some water, get something to drink. Always, always hydrating. Make sure that you hydrate as much as possible. And uh, what we're going to do now is that we're going to move into the... Olguita, el reggaeton. Ya tu sabes, ya tu sabes. Let's go, let's get into the workout. So first, for those of you who are doing not doing this live, who are doing this on repeat, who is here, you're here for your first time, um, the way we work out is we have uh, two circuits. Today, both circuits are four exercises long. And the up and down ladder system, what that is, is we start with exercise one, we go to two, three, four, then we go back to three, two, one. That right there is one ladder. Then we move to the second circuit. One, two, three, four, 
three, two, one. So that's the second circuit. That's the first round. Second round, time permitting, and depending on the intensity of the workouts and how long each, each exercise is. Um, if we do a double ladder, it's one, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. That would be a double ladder. We haven't done a triple ladder yet, but it's coming one day. And a triple ladder, we'll just be doing that three times. So the first round, grab something light, pay attention to the techniques, pay attention to the instructions, and just execute as best as possible to the best of your abilities. If you got to skip an exercise, skip an exercise and do something simpler like jumping jacks, air squats, whatever you want, as long as you keep going, do a plank, whatever. Um, and, um, and if you have to go lighter, go lighter. And if you can go ahead, if you want to go heavy and do more repetitions because your, your program is cardio and you want to do a lot of repetitions and you want to go faster than me because I'm going heavy and I'm going slower, that's fine. If I'm taking longer breaks, you're just going to get more reps. That's all it is. But you work towards your abilities. So if I'm going heavy and you're doing high reps, then you're going to do way more reps than I am. You can do 20 reps while I do 10. It's up to you. Just try to follow along and follow my time so that we finish at the same time. We move on to each exercise at the same time. Without further ado, let me show you what we are going to do today. First exercise. First exercise is a double loaded single arm clean to a single arm press. We're going to hold the dumbbells on our thighs and we're going to let them just slide down a little bit. And we're going to do so, we're going to clean with one arm. So basically, we're going to bring the, 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 the weight to our shoulder. All right. And from here, we do a press, we bring it down. Clean, press, bring it down. Clean, press, bring it down. And what I do is that every time I bring one of them to my thighs, I press, and then I let them both drop. Then when I clean with the other one, it comes to my thigh, I press. When you do the press, I want you to really reach up, activate that shoulder blade, and let it, let it sit while you keep the arm straight. Everything tight. You have to be in a solid, straight arm position. I don't want you to, I don't want you to just go here and then bring, bring it back without straightening out the elbow. Because now you're just doing like a quarter rep and you're not gonna get stronger. Here, this is not strength. Locked up top, being able to hold the weight up top by bicep to my ear. That's perfect technique. That's strength. Okay? So you have to lock out. You have to lock out at the top as much as possible. That's what we have to do. It's slower and we have to contract. We want to use our entire body and execute everything perfect and make sure that we're not causing compensations by neglecting the subscapular or the rotator cuff. So we're going to do 10 alternating. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're doing 10. From there, we're going to move to the chest flies. Now, remember, today we are going to do a pump. We're going to do a pump, so we're going to do 15 repetitions, controlled, not too fast, but we are, the 15 reps are going to really, really get us to, to burn, like get a big burn on that chest. So you're going to go lighter today. You're not going to go heavy. Unless you want to go heavy, that's up to you. But what I'm, what I'm calling out for today is high repetitions. So I'm, I'm, we've been going heavy now for a little while. Let's go high repetitions. And the chest fly. What you're doing is, okay, so you're going to lift up and you're going to straighten out your arms. From here, you're going to slightly just, just let your arms collapse a little bit and bend just slightly. You're going to maintain this angle as you go down. Just maintain the same angle. As soon as your elbows or your triceps touch the floor, you come back up. You open, you come back up. You don't have to touch the floor. I mean, you can just stop right there and that's fine. But if you can go all the way down, you're going to get a better stretch. I don't like going any lower than the floor. Like if you're on a bench and you want to go lower, I would not recommend it because you can, you can tear something. You just need to go right up to here and come back. You don't have to touch the dumbbells at the top. You could if you want. You could if you want. And you squeeze the chest. You get a little bit of an extra, an extra squeeze. But if you maintain them here, 
now you're gonna have a longer, you're gonna have a longer, um, you're gonna have more tension on the chest, on the outside part of the chest. So it's up to you, um, whatever you feel comfortable doing, however you feel the best. Um, there's really no wrong way to do it, just different, different techniques, different uh, options. So we're gonna do 15 chest flies. Just bum, bum. Actually, you know what? Let's change this to 20. We are gonna do 20. I want you to get a big pump. So we're gonna change this to 20 repetitions. Lightweight, 20 repetitions. So I'm gonna change it right now before I forget. All right. So from the 20 chest presses, we are gonna go to a B, a B up, reverse grip chest press. So we're gonna bring the weights, reverse grip. So our palms are facing are facing me. They're not this way. I'm gonna twist them 180 degrees so my fingers are looking at me. I'm gonna lift my feet up. If you can, if you gotta keep your feet down, keep your feet down. But if you can keep them up, keep them up. And we're gonna press just like this. All right. Put the dumbbells together. Put the dumbbells together. You don't have to, but if you want to have a little bit more stability, put them together. We are going to go for 10 repetitions. If that's too hard for you, if you can't do that, then I want you to just do a standard chest press up and down. Right here. If you want to do reverse grip, you can do a reverse grip, standard chest press. If you can't do the V-up, but if you can do the V-up, do the V-up. Then we're gonna do a drop down, try some kickbacks. So we're gonna get up. We're gonna go 45 degrees. So we're gonna stand up straight, shoulder blades down. We're gonna come down right here, let them fall forward a little bit. Bring the elbows to the rib cage. You're gonna hold them there. You're gonna kick both dumbbells up. And then you're gonna hold one up as the other one does the kickback down, up, down, up, and you're gonna hold it. Hold one up at all times. We are gonna do 10 of those, 10 of those. So that's why it's called the drop down because we're holding it, then we're dropping down, kicking back, drop down, kicking back. So single arm cleans to press, chest flies, Reverse grip chest press, and then drop down, drop down kickbacks. And then chest flies, 20 reps. Your chest is gonna be like, it's gonna be exploded. It's gonna feel, it's gonna be a big burn. So remember, it's the stimulation of different muscle fibers. It's a stimulate, it's, this is your chance to focus on technique. So go light, just get a pump. Light to moderate, um, because 20 reps is going to be hard. I'm going to start with 15 pounds. Um, you, you might want to start with 5 to 10 and see how it goes. If you Let's say you grab a 10 and you only get 12, 13 reps. That's perfectly fine. That means you reach failure at 12. You know that's your 12 rep max. You might want to go lighter or just keep it at 12 rep max, but you're going to rest a little longer because you failed. You actually went to failure. If you don't fail, you get your 20. That's good, man. That's good. But if you get a good pump, you're okay. You don't have to die on this one. All right, here we go. So let's get started with that single arm. Clean, two, press. We are gonna go 10, <clears throat> 10 repetitions. So start with the dumbbells and the thighs. We're gonna drop, we're gonna drop them, boom, right here quick, and then we're gonna, we're gonna get started, all right? Here we go. <clears throat> Ready, and down, boom. Press, bring it down, that's one. Other arm, press, that's two. Right, press, that's three. Left, press, that's four. Right, press, that's five. Left, press, that's six. Right, press, that's seven. Left, press, that's eight. Right, press, that's nine, left, press, that's 10. Very easy, very easy. Just get yourself going. 
Now we have 20 repetitions. 20 repetitions. Here we go. Chest flies. Get in position. Straighten out those arms. Slight bent. And then as wide as you can. Up to you if you want to touch at the top or not when you come back. But let's get it. Let's get. I want you to create an arch on your back. Keep everything locked. Ready? And let's go. Down. Up. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. Let's go. That's ten. Ten more. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. All right. 20 reps. Beautiful. All right. Straight to reverse grip. V up. Chest press. We got 10 of these. So right here, legs up. Ready? We got 10. Just straight up. Let's go. Up, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Nice. Nice, easy pump. Perfect. Now we have kickbacks. Drop down kickbacks. Remember, you're kicking up and then one at a time after that first double kick. Here we go. So bend over, rib, elbows to rib cage, double kickback, hold them up, and just go. One, one, two, Two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. That is it. Now we're gonna go back to the reverse grip chest press. Straight back at it. Here we go. Feet up. We got 10. Let's go. Up, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. And we have 20 chest flies. Shake it off a little bit. Shake it off because this adds up. It adds up. Let's go. 20. Chest flies. And let's get it. Down. Up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten more. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Outstanding. All right. And now we have the double loaded, clean, and press. We have 10 reps. Ready? And let's go just drop one. Clean. Press. That's one. Left arm. Press. That's two. Right arm. Press. That's three. Left arm. Press. That's four. Right arm. Press. That's five. Left arm. Press. That's six. Right arm, that's seven. Left arm, that's eight. Right arm, that's nine. Left arm, that's 10. Woo! And that right there was a nice 
simple, perfect, perfect exercise to focus on technique. That was a perfect routine, perfect circuit to just focus on, on just, you can see already I'm already more pumped. You can see my shoulders are pumped. My chest is definitely already more pumped than when we started. That's what high reps do. Now, it was very light for me. Um, I'm going to be honest. Look, I'm not even sweating. Typically, I'm sweating after the first round, but I'm taking it easy today. Some of you, you already might be sweating, depending how heavy you went. Second round, I'm going to go for the 25-pound dumbbells. If they're too heavy, I'll drop down to 20, but I'm going to just jump to 25 and see how that goes so I can get a better pump. So that was round number one, okay? Now we're going to go into round number two. And same thing, right? Make sure you're hydrating at all times. You always hydrate, no matter how easy the, the routine was. I promise you that the warm-up round, it was easy. But when you actually add an extra 5, 10 pounds, those, those reps add up, man. And then and you just pump. So if you found it super easy, go up to 5 to 10 pounds on the second round. And you'll see how much more intense it is. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go, but again, super easy means technique, 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 perfect technique, because that's going to help you with the more complicated workouts. Let's go into the second, second exercise. Now we're going to go into lateral raises. So shake off your shoulders. We're going to go into lateral raises. Remember lateral raises, we're going to start from the side of the hips. We're going to bend over just slightly, just a slight bend. And then we're going to do, we're going to pretend we're raising buckets. We're going to, we're going to lift buckets of water on our sides. You're trying, I don't want you to shrug. So don't, don't shrug to try to get the weights up. Keep those shoulders down and then just water buckets right here. Soon as it, soon as it, soon as it comes down, come right back up, always under control. You're trying to drop it really slow and get back up. Really slow and get back up. For both arms. Slow, back up. Slow, back up. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to do, you know what? We haven't done these yet. We're going to do, we're going to do alternating. Instead of both at the same time, we're going to go one, one, two, two. We are going to do a total of 10 alternating single arm lateral raises. We're going to change it. We're going to change it to that. I'm just going to add that right now. So we're going to do 10 of those. Again, on the control, lift with your elbows. That wrist is just holding the dumbbell. You're trying to raise with the elbows. You're trying to do a chicken dance. Slow and control. Up, slow. Up, slow. All right? We are going to do 10. From there, we have close grip chest press. Close grip chest press. We get we get into our into our position. Now remember, with light weights you can go down just like I did, but with with more challenging weights, the idea is to put the weight on your thighs and then put yourself in position using your thighs. I guide the weights with my thighs and I get myself into position. I raise up, I put the weights together, and I'll keep my elbows in, come down, come up. Make sure that you push through. My shoulder blades go up on the push up, right? And then down, so down, and then raise those shoulder blades. Don't just, don't just stop right here without, without activating the shoulder blades. Raise through. And when you raise through, when it does, it works your serratus. We want to hit that serratus. So we're going to do 20, 20 of those. Then we're going to go to dumbbell to the pullovers. So we're going to go back to this position. We're going to go up. We're going to raise our hips to, to ease, take some pressure off the shoulder blades. Because when you're flat like this, sometimes your shoulder blades get stuck on the floor and they don't move. It can hurt your shoulders. So we're going to raise up. We're gonna give us. We're gonna give our shoulder blades some room. We're gonna go down. We're gonna go up, down, up. You can also keep them separated to focus more on each on each arm, so one doesn't do more work than the other. So you can have them separated, or you can put them together. If you're if you're well balanced, 
you can do them together. But if you're not well balanced or you just want to work on, on stability and, and the ability to use both arms, then go and separate. You're going to see which one is, is the one that's bad. So if you're going here and you notice that you're like, one comes up and then you're stuck, that means the other one is weak. If one of them is, is stiff and the other one is like moving, you're like moving all over the place, you can't stabilize, that means the arm needs more work and you should keep doing it with the arm separate. Regardless, we have 10 pullovers and then we're gonna do low, low hold. We're gonna do low hold uh, front raises. I'm gonna go light on these. I'm gonna go 10 pounds. So if you have fives, go with fives, but I'm gonna go with 10. And this one, what we're gonna do, all right, is we are gonna, we're gonna come down in our low hold position. We're gonna bring both weights up just like the, the kickbacks. And then we're gonna go down one, one, two, two. Notice how I'm not just laying down here, I'm staying a little high. Okay? And we're gonna hold one up. That's gonna put so much pump on your shoulders, not even funny. And that's it. So lateral raises, alternating. One, one, two, 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 excuse me. We have 10. Close grip chest press, pullovers, and then the front hold, shoulder, shoulder raises in the low hold position. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's make it happen. All right. Here we go. Starting with the lateral raises. We got 10. Weights on the shoulders, I mean weights on the thighs. Alternating, one, one, two, two. We got 10. Ready? And let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Outstanding. Beautiful. Straight to the close grip chest press. Close grip chest press. Here we go. We got 20 reps. So bring those weights up, put them together. 20 repetitions. Make sure you're raising the shoulder blades. All right. Push through to the ceiling. Let's go. Down, push through. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. Perfect technique. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! Shake it off a little bit. Shake off your arms. Come up. And now we're going to go into the pullovers. Pullovers. So back to this position. Up. Hips up. Raise those hips to give your shoulder blades some room. Keep your, push your shoulder blades up, hold them up as you do the pullover. Let's go, ready? And down, up, one, down, up, two, down, up, three, down, up, four, down, up, five, down, up, six, down, up, Seven, down, up, eight, down, up, nine, down, up, and ten. Perfect, perfect. All right. And now we have the low hold, drop down, drop down, raise, drop down, raises. 
All right, ready? So we're gonna get nice and low. Hold that position, both arms up, and let's go. Down, down, one. Down, up, down, up, two. Three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Woo! If you can't get in the low hole, low hole squat position, stay up top. Do it right here like this. One, one, right? You don't have to get in the low hold position. Up to you if you can get the low hold position. All right, so that was 10. Now we're gonna go into the close grip. So we got the pullovers now. Pullovers, ready? So get nice and low. Bring those weights up, hips up, and we got 10. Bring them behind the head. Let's go down, up, one. Down, up, two, down, up, three, down, up, four, down, up, five, down, up, six, down, up, seven, down, up, eight, down, up, nine, down, up, ten. Woo, relax a little bit. We're gonna bring them back up. Then we have the 10, the 20 close grip. So bring them back in, hold them together. We're gonna do 20. Ready? And down, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Beautiful. All right. And now back to the lateral raises. Back to the lateral raises. Remember, shoulders down, do not shrug. Slight bending over, so slight bent over position. One arm at a time, let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. And that right there is circuit number, circuit number two. Woo! So right now, so I'm, I'm starting to sweat a little bit, right? So that's the idea of the the warm-up round, get to know the exercises, focus on the technique, feel your muscles working. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing? My shoulder blades are supposed to be down, only lifting the elbow, raising my shoulder to shoulder so I can hit that, that serratus muscle right here. All right, so this, the serratus is this little three muscle right here. So that's the serratus. When you go here, it activates. So you wanna hit the serratus, focus on the tricep, keeping those arms up at all time. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of mental work but you have to create that connection, mind to muscle connection. So that was excellent, guys. Now, whatever your program is, you're gonna go and choose the weight that's right for you. So again, high reps, I wanna get a big pump today. I wanna, by the time we leave here, you're gonna see my shoulders are gonna be like out of the screen because that's how pumped I'm gonna get, all right? And I want you to focus on the squeeze. So when you get here, Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze at all times. Slow, controlled, squeeze. Shoulder press. Up, squeeze, control. Squeeze, control, all right? Don't get sloppy, don't get messy. 
Everything has to be perfect. Kickbacks. Bob, squeeze that, straighten out that arm as hard as you can, bring it down. Straighten the arm out as, you, as much as you can, bring it down. Don't just, don't, don't get tired and you just start doing this and not locking your arm. Nope, has to straighten out. If you don't straighten it out, you don't strengthen the triceps. So let's go back now. We are gonna do a double round. So we have plenty of time. It's an easy, it's an easy routine. So we're gonna go double time. Two ladders, double ladder, get ready. But still, pick a, a challenging weight, even if you do less reps. If it felt easy the first time, go five, go up five to ten pounds. See how that feels. If the if the first round of the if the first round of the circuit feels easy, then go even heavier. So keep adding weights until you've noticed that it's it's challenging. All right, for the amount of exercises, for the amount of reps that we're gonna do. All right. So I'm gonna start with 25s. All right, I'm gonna do 25s for everything. 25s for everything. Here I go. And then I'll drop down as, as I go. So we have 10 cleans, two single arm press. So single arm clean to single arm press. Ready? And let's go. So clean, press, that's one. Clean. Press, that's two. Clean, press, that's three. Clean, press, that's four. Clean, press, that's five. Clean, press, that's six. Clean, press, that's seven. Clean, press, that's eight. Clean, press, that's nine. Clean, press, that's 10. Beautiful, all right? Chest flies, chest flies. Woo, this one's gonna be interesting, all right? But we have 20 chest flies. Wow, here we go. Weight's up, ready, and let's go. Down, up, one, two, three, breathe in, breathe out, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, man. So I wasn't going to fail there. I wasn't going to fail. I probably had an extra five, maybe even 10 more reps, but I felt that burn. So that's good. I can probably go a little heavier, right? but I don't have 30. So I'm just going to keep the 25s. And plus, we still have the weight on the way down. We got two more after that. So I think 25s are going to be perfect for this round. Now we got 10 V ups. Reverse grip, legs up. We got 10. Ready? And let's go up. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Woo! That was nice. All right, for the kickbacks, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna shoot for 20 pounds. I'm gonna go with 20 pounds. So I'm not gonna go 25s, but I'll try 20s. So I'll go a little heavier than last than last time. That is last time I think I did 15s, so I'm gonna go to 20s. Here we go. So bend down, elbows to rib cage, double kick back, hold them up, and one at a time. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. Eight, eight, 
nine, nine, ten, ten. Oh, that was a burn and a half. All right. Back to the close grip. Back to the close grip. Woo, shake it off a little bit because, see, now I'm feeling it. This round, I'm feeling it. Woo, my shoulder blades, my shoulders are on fire. My triceps are on fire. Everything's on fire right now. We got 10. Up. Legs up. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holy smokes. Now we got flies. I have a feeling these next sets are going to be murder. Murder. All right, here we go. 20. 20 flies. And let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, oh yeah, Woo. oh yeah, I'm burning, I am burning, here we go, single arm, single arm presses, all right, so, I feel like I can go a little heavier, so I'm going to go with the 35s for these presses, I feel like I can, I can challenge myself a little bit more, so I'm going to go 35s and see what happens. All right, so again, challenge yourself. I'm telling you, the heavier you go, then all of a sudden it's not so easy. We got 10. Ready? Clean and press. Let's go. So, clean, press, that's one. Clean, press, that's two. Clean, press, that's three. Clean, press, that's four. Clean, press, that's five. Clean, press, that's six. Clean, press, that's seven. Clean, press, that's eight. Clean, press, that's nine. Clean, press, that's ten. Woo, not that bad. Not that bad. All right. Back to the chest flies. Another 20 reps. Another 20. You guys are going to be sore today, tomorrow, I promise. You are going to be sore. Woo! Here we go. But you're also going to have strong chest, strong arms. Here we go. 20 reps. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo, beautiful. All right. So V chest presses, V up chest presses. Deep breath, bring them up. Position, feet up. We got 10. Let's go. One, two. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Woo, all right. And then drop down kickbacks. Drop down kickbacks. Ah. The 20s were a little hard, but I was close maybe to the about 85, maybe even 90%. I'm actually go 100% here. So if I do less reps, I do less reps. Um, but I'm going to try to get to 10. I'm going to try to get to 10. All right, here we go. So bend over, elbows to rib cage, both arms kick back, and let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five. Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Woo! Fantastic. Here we go. Back to the back to the chest presses. Incline, reverse, reverse grip. We got 10. Here we go. Bring the weights up. Lift them up. Reverse grip. Feet up. We got 10. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Chest flies. You can see, hey, my. It's different this time, right? It's different. Woo! I'm sweating. 20, 20 chest flies. Here we go. Ready? And let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Wow, fantastic. All right. And last but not least, cleans and press. Cleans and press. Single arm. Ready? And let's go. So clean, press, perfect technique. That's one. Clean, press, that's two. Clean, press. That's three. Clean, press, that's four. Clean, press, that's five. Clean, press, that's six. Clean, press, that's seven. Clean, press, that's eight. Clean, press, that's nine. Clean, press, that is 10. Fantastic. And that is woo, the end of round two. Ah, we got one more. And you can see that. All right. So the, the intensity definitely shot up. The pump definitely went up. You can see my shoulders are a lot more pumped now. <laughs> right. So this is what it's called having a pump, pump shoulder. Um, So we're getting that nice, nice pump, all right? And the calorie burn, the intensity is not the same as before as usual. It's not going to it's completely different. It's a smaller muscle group. We're not squatting. We're not burping. We're focusing on the chest, the shoulders. We're focusing on the upper body, and we're focusing on technique and and pump and just perfect, right? So 
different workout, different results. But if your nutrition is on point, you're still going to lose weight. You're still going to get leaner. It makes no difference. I mean, you might burn 200 calories less today, but one day doesn't make a difference. It's what you do over 30 days that makes a difference. Today, just focus on technique, all right? So now round two, we're going to finish strong. Double round. That, that shoulder pump right here, that's, what, that's the one that's gonna, that scares me the most. The one that scares me the most is that shoulder. <laughs> and those, the drop down. So the drop down raise and the drop down kickback, those are brutal, all right? So let's go to the second, second circuit. Here we go. We are starting with those lateral raises. Starting with the lateral raises. Uh, for the chest press, I think I am going to go, I'm going to go 35s for the chest press, for the close grip chest press, and then I'll go 25s for the, for the overhead, all right, and I'm going to go 15s, I'm going to keep it at 15s for the single arm lateral raises. Keep your area clean, make sure there's nothing around you that's going to cause you to trip and twist an ankle. All right, here we go. Shoulders down, so make sure, bring those shoulders down. Get used to that. Arms on the sides, on the side of your hips. Bend over slightly. Let's get started with single arm. Left, right, left, right. Let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Perfect technique. Nine, nine, ten, ten. Awesome. Beautiful. Close grip, close grip chest presses. I'm going 35s. Ah, here we go. Going for 20. Man, 35s, I don't know. I don't know. But we'll try. I'm going to try. Okay? I'm going to try. This might be too heavy for 20 reps. But I won't know till I try it. Let's go. Down. Up. Let's get them quick. Let's go. Down. Up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, man. <sighs> Definitely. Definitely pumped. Definitely. Wow. My chest is about to explode from how much blood is in it right now. Woo. All right. Overhead pullovers. Overhead pullovers. Let's go. So weights up. I'm going to keep them separate. Raise my hip up. And deep breath out as you come up. So ready? Deep breath. Down. Up. Play it out. That's one. Down, up, that's two. Down, up, that's three. Down, up, that's four. Down, up, that's five. Remember to keep your hips, keep hips up. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Woo! Fantastic. And now we have those low hold, low hold. Front raises, drop down front raises. We're getting in that nice low hold squat position. If you can't get on the low hold, do it standing up or just a slight bend. You only go as low as you can. Um, we got... Drop down, 10 and 10, let's go, ready? So get low, both weights up, let's go. One, 
One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Woo! Oh my God. Oh, all right. Oh my goodness, all right. Pullovers. Pullovers. Ready? So, weight up, hip up, keep the core tight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. All right. So, 20, Chest presses. Now I know, I know I need a little bit, just a little shake off, just a little bit, just to regroup. All right, 10 close grip chest presses. Here we go. Deep breath, weight up, 20 reps. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, five more, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Whoo! Man, seeing how that felt, I feel like we did fifteen reps on the first, the first round. I'm kind of confused now, but it was supposed to be 20. If we did 15, that's fine, but uh, it was supposed to have been 20. So if you guys did 20 on your own, that's perfect. But I think I messed up. Anyways, that was a burn and a half. That was burn and a half. All right. Lateral raises, lateral raises. Here we go. Woo, look guys, this is a good stretch. At the end of your workout, just let the weight, the weights take you. Let your shoulders fall down and just get a nice stretch. You can just do circles. Just get that shoulder blades to get that shoulder blade to get in position. All right. Anyways, shoulders down, weights on the side. We got 10. Ready? And up. One. One. Two. Two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Awesome. Beautiful. All right. Woo! Last up and down ladder. We got 20. I don't think I'm going to make it. I think I'm going to get like 16, 17, but I'm going to give it everything I got to get those 20. I'm just going to push beyond what I can, but always making sure I got good technique. If I can't do it, I can't do it. So play, soft, play smart, play it safe. I'm definitely not going to make it on the second time around. Let, let me not say I'm not going to make it. I'm going to try to make it. I'm gonna do it, all right? I'm gonna make it. It's all mental, it's all in my brain. Woo, 20 reps. Here we go. Weights up, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, what a burn. What a burn. Woo. Now, one thing I do feel is that I can do the overheads with the 35s also. I feel like the, fit, the 25s were a little too light, which is fantastic for me because that means my shoulders are healing very good. Even 15 pounds was hard about three months ago. I had trouble with my shoulder blades getting me in the pullover. But now I feel like I can go even 35, so almost twice as much weight, and I feel fine. So I'm going to try it. And that just means that all these warm-ups, the warm-ups with squeezing the shoulder blades has paid off. And it's going to pay off for you too. So let's try it. I'm going to go 35s. Pullovers. Ready? Weights up. Hips up. Let's do it. Down. One. Down. Two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh yeah. I knew I could do it. I knew it. And zero pain. I still feel a little bit of tension on the elbow, but it's almost like I just need to stretch more. Not really like uh not really inflammation. It's more of us. I need to stretch my my forearms and my triceps more. So that's what I'm gonna focus on. Um, but they feel fantastic. So great news for me. Let's keep working. Let's go. We got 10. Our last set of 10. Low holds. Last set of 10. I'm, I'm gonna get a little closer. So you guys can see me sweating and 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 in pain. So here we go. So low hold squat and both weights up. Let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten. 10. Oh man, yes. All right. Pullovers. Pullovers. Here we go. We got 10. Catch your breath. Woo. Ready? And let's go. Weights up. Hips up. Let's get 10. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, woo! Little shake, little breather, little breather, because my triceps are shot. And now we got these last 20 reps. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt, but we're at the finish line. Here we go. Holy smokes. All right. Ready? And let's get these 20 reps. Come on. Weights up. Together. And get it. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh my goodness. Wow. Guys, barely. I barely made it. Oh, oh man. And last 20 lateral raises. Last 20. Woo! Man, you want to talk about getting shredded arms? Nice toned arms? That's how you do it. All right. Here we go. Side to side. We got 10. Let's go. Ready? One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten. 10, and we are finished. Woo! Ah, guys, look at this. Look at that pump. Chest is pump, shoulder is pump. That's blood, that's, that's blood going into the muscle. That's fat burning away. And uh, so that's a dip. Today we did a different type of stimulation. We did muscular endurance, high repetitions, making the muscle fail close or close to failure with high repetitions and getting some blood in there. And that's, it's just different, right? Different type of workout compared to heavy training where we're maxing, we're going like 10 reps, five reps, six reps, just much more different, um, different results. And, but either way, it's a great workout. It's a nice workout today. It's a nice pump. You guys are going to feel good. You're going to be sore tomorrow, but that's fine. All right. So, <laughs> Olguita, as soon as you got those weights up, it turned hard, right? It turned hard. So, it's all about the weight, the warm up. You do perfect technique. It was easy. All right. I got, I got the hang with Your body learns. Now, the second one, you go heavy, but your body knows, but it still burns like crazy. So, woo. Kelly, gracias, gracias. Estuvo buenísimo. Muy bueno para el, para el pecho, para los brazos, para todo eso, para que se formen aquí los brazos, tengan mejor forma en los brazos. So, ah, guys, awesome, 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 awesome. Thank you for coming. Thank you for showing up. Man, we are going on Monday. I think number four now. This is number 15. Chest, shoulder strides is number 15. That's amazing. We're, we're moving on. Uh, we need more subscribers. So make sure you hit that like button so that, so that Google can put me up on the search engines. So hit the thumbs up and uh, share it with your friends, share it on social media, share the video, grab the link and share the link because Google will see that link on your page and Google will give me a, a, an extra ranking if you put the link on the website. So follow me on Instagram, right? And I'm going to post the link there and then you guys just reshare it. That way I can get, I can get some help. So thank you everybody. Gracias a todo el mundo. Marisol, Kelly. Simena, Olguita, everybody that showed up, thank you so much. And uh, hit the like button, share the video. And uh, again, guys, thank you so much. Hug, kisses, a bañarse y a comer. Ajá, ajá. Eso, Kelly. <laughs> adios, adios. Bye, everybody.